Enjoy. Now we're coming into the Jewish quarter here, guys. Give me a shout out from where you're coming in from. Would love to know. Any questions you guys might have as well. I will keep my eyes on the comments. I haven't been looking too closely. So please, uh, don't be offended. I've just been trying to make sure we're, we're getting our bearings here. Louisville, Kentucky, Utah, Netherlands, Indiana. Uh, we're gonna visit the Tomb of Jesus, yes. Memphis, Tennessee, USA, Dallas, California. California, BC, Canada, Los Angeles, Israel, Palestine, Colorado, New York, Florida, Atlanta. Hey, I appreciate that. Cologne, Germany, I put on some cologne this morning, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Kansas, welcome, welcome. San Francisco. this morning, you know what I'm saying? Okay, Kansas, welcome, welcome. San Francisco. I have great memories from Waikiki. Sweden. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Anyone want some ice cream or gelato here to my right? Look at these, okay, they got these Hanukkah donuts here. And usually the donuts are crap here. Um, they're not very good, but these Hanukkah donuts are just fun. They're like little baby angels, right? They're all really cheap and they got all these sorts of flavors here. And this is a bakery just inside the Jewish quarter to the left. You can see all of them. They're just like, woo, cute little things. Couldn't possibly put on weight that way, right? They're so small. Hey, Philippines, Switzerland, welcome. If you guys are interested in Roman history, look no further. Well, you should look a little further. Look to the left. Rich Corinthian pillows, pillars demarcating the Cardo, a uh, installment of the Roman Byzantine period of Jerusalem. They built this road from one side of the city all the way to the other. Cardo is where we get our word cardiovascular, so you could consider this road during the Roman times the heart of the city. You can see these two arches here uh, where you would have people selling groceries and, and other uh, products and so forth from that time, and that would have been, you can actually see the other areas demarcated here as well. And that would have run from one side of the city all the way to the other side. It actually, um, the kind of network that the Romans built is still semi a part of what we have today. Uh, but you can see quite a lot of building has taken place on top of what once was. Cofix over here, seven shekel cappuccino, not too bad. But the Cardo, the imprint of the Roman Empire on the city of Jerusalem here, preserved in the Jewish quarter. Secret tunnels. I know that reference. <laughs> hey, good morning. Mm -hmm. Hey, Belgium. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Purva Synagogue here to my left. I've said it before, and so I'm holding myself accountable. I'm going to do some more lives about the history of the Horvath Synagogue, fully restored in 2010. Um, a very rich history we're not going to get into. We're going to go to the major sites, the Kotel Sepulchre. We're going to look at the Dome of the Rock and the al -Aqsa Mosque. Um, but we want to do more of, I want to do more of these sites, and then they're repairing and uh, another synagogue up here as well here in Horva Square. This large menorah here to the left, this tour group. You get tour groups from all over the world here. We've seen Brazilians, Americans, South Koreans, Filipinos, Ethiopians. It's just normal. Um, one of the things I think is very cool about walking through Jerusalem is that each day is completely its own. Even though you're on the same streets, there's just so many different people. Um, there are just an infinite amount of variables that make your experience unique. Each day is its own, in other words. So there's always something new for each live. Welcome, everybody. What time is it? It is 10.15. It is 10.15. Mm -hmm. Coffee bagel to the left. You can see that synagogue that they're working on just up here. I believe quite a bit of restoration work. You can see how it kind of pigeonholes right here. It's interesting because you have so many people come through here and yet one of their main streets is just absolutely pinched. And so it's normal if you're walking through here to feel very, very tight. Especially if you're hung hungry. Shish kebab here to the left. Some ice cream here as well. A lot of ice cream love here in the Jewish Quarter. Burgers bar to the left, holy bagel to the right. Got to be one of my favorite places to get a bagel. A little overpriced, 
I love the play on words with the name, but always enjoyable. Okay guys, we are getting closer and closer to the Kotel or the Western Wall, one of the holiest sites in Judaism. Before that, we're gonna see a great view of the al Mosque in front of the Mount of Olives very shortly. Am I in the old city? Yes, I am. I'm inside the Jewish quarter, specifically. Okay guys. We're gonna see some really, really jam-packed view here. Views here. That up there, so you can you can see that darker dome just there in front. You guys see that right there? That is the Al-Aqsa Mosque, third holiest in all of Islam. I've had the privilege of going inside. We can't go inside without like a special tour guide. The guy who was leading us gave tours to um, like United Nation type people. Um, last person he gave a tour before our group was Prince William, is what he said. Um, so you have to have a special arrangement to do it. If you're not a Muslim, you actually can't go in, sadly. Um, it's a beautiful interior. It's carpet from one side to side. And um, it's just it's just amazing, actually. It's, it's an incredible structure inside. Third holiest in all of Islam, obviously, because this is the site that Muslim, Muslims believe the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven and then back down to Mecca all in one night. So Jerusalem has a very key role to play uh, in the history of Islam. Isn't this beautiful here, guys? I actually need to do more study on, on, on this. Look at this. This is like a little garden. Could you imagine having this as your backyard? Look at these arches. Someone does. Hey, Modesto, California. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Mm -hmm. One thing that we're doing is, one thing I'm, try, I'm experimenting a little bit is making subscribers moderators. The thought behind that is that subscribers are kind of more committed, kind of more in for the long haul, uh, in a way. Um, and so if you want to be a moderator, please subscribe and, uh, and help keep the channel wholesome. <laughs> Some in the comments. Sometimes you guys are really intense. You can see here, okay, this is very interesting. This is actually a brand new visual here. It doesn't look, it looks pretty dirty, but actually it's brand new. So you've got um, an elevator that is being constructed just before um, the stairs that we've come down. I believe that's up where we have the Holy Bagel area. I think, I think, I'm not 100% sure but you're gonna come down here and go this way. So I think this is for people with disabilities to access the Western Wall. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, I normally, I've been trying to like mix it up a little bit. We, we normally do the coattail at the end, but now we're doing it at the start and I kind of like it because you just, you throw all the big sites here, right? Right in one view. Take a look at this. It is, it's got to be about 68. No, 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 no. It's got to be more like maybe 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is reflecting beautifully off the Dome of the Rock, the dominating icon of Jerusalem's city skyline, 24 karat leaf gold, thanks to King Hussein of Jordan from the latter part of the 20th century. It's a shrine over top a patch of bedrock, um, which is significant because it's the site where uh, religious tradition places the um, almost sacrifice of Isaac by Abraham, uh, Mount Moriah. Uh, is, is the site, although we're not 100% sure, right? Um, but this is kind of the religious traditional site. Also the second temple during the Herodian period, and of course the midnight ascent of the prophet Muhammad. Significant to the three major monotheistic religions, all in a small little patch of land you're seeing on your screen in real time. Al-Aqsa Mosque, we just saw it, of course. The Mount of Olives just there. A different view as well of the um, graves all the way going up. Church of the Ascension and the Davidson Archaeological Park. Totally worth it, by the way. Totally worth it. You can see some of the foundation stones during the period of Herod the Great of that complex.
Isn't this gorgeous, guys? Hey, give me a shout out where you're coming in from. I'd love to know. We're going to go see the Kotel up live in real person. Let me know. Any questions you guys might have, my eyes are going to be on the comments. Welcome, everybody. Um, if you want to hike, then do that. But I would recommend taking a taxi to the Mount of Olives. It looks kind of close, but that's deceptive. It's actually far. Um, I hiked it this last Sunday morning and I was very winded. Los Angeles, Ireland, Great Britain, Idaho, good morning, South Africa, Trinidad, welcome everybody. Fresno, California, Boston. Can we see the Church of Ascension? Sure, yeah, we can actually zoom in on the Church of the Ascension. Athens, Georgia, welcome. Do I speak or write Hebrew? Sadly, no. Um, I should more. Las Vegas, Amsterdam. Yeah, you were winded too. <laughs> you guys, you were just watched. Goodness gracious. Alabama, Kenya, Malaysia. There you can see the Church of the Ascension there in between the minaret and the jungle of Aloxa. Ghana. Thumb of Michigan. I like that specificity. Louisiana, New Hampshire. Riverside, Arizona, Iowa, Palestine, Israel, Ghana. Welcome everybody, glad you're here. Hey, if you appreciate this, like, follow, and subscribe to support the channel. The passion is to bring the holy city to the world, especially for those who can't, and to put something educational and wholesome on this platform, which, as I probably don't need to explain to you, is very much a need for this platform. Something a little more wholesome than what we normally get. Hey, Nigeria, Allentown, PA, Canada. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Denver, California, California. A lot of Californians. Hey, good morning to you and thank you. It's three, it's, what was it? 323, 3.23 a.m. Kazakhstan, Pollock Pines, California, England. Hey, thanks for coming along. You